I E F F F N C. Mm-hmm. It sounds like a bank. <laughs> to the International Brendan Fraser Film Festival of North Carolina. Hello, everyone. Oh. Oh. I almost just smacked you in the face. Yeah, I know. <laughs> we are the Benbridge Scholars, and we are also the hosts of this prestigious film festival that only a handful of people in the world know about. We will be watching with honors from 1994 and he plays montgomery kessler we're gonna rent it on amazon it sounds very scholastic it does so i have no idea we'll see we'll see what it is and we'll report back very shortly Collegiate, this time collegiate. Mm -hmm. Well, the, the first thing I wrote was collegiate music, boring. <laughs> Brendan Fraser plays a Harvard student in the 90s. He's studying government and working on his thesis. And it's taken him a very long time. As he's printing out his thesis, the computer crashes. The computer crashes. So then only 88 pages of however many pages he has prints out. And it's the old printer that's like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So it ends up in the hands of a homeless man played by the brilliant Joe Pesci who lives in the boiler room of the Somewhere library in at Harvard. Harvard. Yeah. Yeah. Which is a gorgeous library, by the way. Oh, wow. He has to strike a deal with Simon, Joe Pesci's character, and they do like a one for one trade. So he gives Joe Pesci like a glazed donut for one page. Mm -hmm. But then they become such good friends that um, he eventually moves into the backyard he in moves the into the, this broken down van owned by Patrick Dempsey's character. Cutie. Um, oh my gosh. Yeah. And so the friendship kind of develops through that. Eventually, um, Joe has a key to the. House. Yeah. Eventually, he moves into He's their in house, house, sleep inside, and the roommates accept him and love him, and it's just a sweet story. I yeah. I enjoyed it. I haven't seen a lot of Joe Pesci's work other than Home Alone. Same. So for me, I felt like I really got to know him as an actor. Mm -hmm. I agree. I he like he could talk at the heartstrings. There were some really like deep lines in this film. Yeah, I he, wrote down a couple of them. I he think. was really full of wisdom. He was. And I liked a lot that. of great one-liners from him. Yeah. I mean, let me get into character. Are you ready? How could he die? He didn't live. Did you, are you crying? <laughs> I'm basically Joe Pesci. I've always felt that in my bones. The first scene, Brendan Fraser is jogging, like going on a morning jog, and he's kind of competing with the rowing team, I think. I think it was the rowing team. They were oh. all kind of jogging in a line. I just thought they were the track team or something. Maybe they were track team. I don't but know. But he he's like, he's like leaning out. out. Do -do -do -do. Taking someone's hat off. Yeah. Like, can we demonstrate? Hey! The dialogue that I brought forth was an inner dialogue, but like on the outside. Right. It was like a Rocky jogging sequence. Did you ever see Rocky? I, I mean, I know the theme song. I saw it once because a guy had a crush on, it was his favorite movie, so I was like, I'll watch it, that's what we do. And it, it they're never good. Mm -hmm. I mean, I appreciate Rocky for what it is, but like, when you're watching a guy's movie because you have a crush on him and you want to impress him, right? When you start listening to R.E.M. or Fish, <laughs> I think we're both guilty on that account. Ooh, Ooh. different guy. Oh, yeah. That's always a warning sign, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> and you go against your better judgment. But the, the fish rule is a solid rule for That's a reason. That's the warning sign. Do not pretend to like something that you don't actually like mm -mm. so that you can have something in common with a guy. Just don't. If you don't like it, say you don't like it. But be not, don't be mean about it. But no, like, it's just, just be. It's okay to not know what they're talking about or yeah. like it. Yeah. Take it from us, two old broads. Why are you experience. saying that we're old? Well, I feel like an old broad. I, I always have. <laughs> Um, I just wanted to say something about Brendan's performance. Okay. And it's something I'm noticing in like all of his movies. I 
love the way that he talks. I love the quality of his voice. Yes. It's, He's got such a rich voice. He does. But and it's delicate. There's, there's like, um, there's a purity to it. I know. Like, you know what I mean? A sensitivity. Yeah. And, um, there's a richness though. And he seems like someone who would be really good at expressing himself. Yes. And, and that he means emotions. what he says. Like yeah. he feels what he says. There's this gentle quality that comes out in his speaking voice. He could tell me anything and I would believe him. I, yeah. And I would just think like, wow, you are such a good person. Mm -hmm. Because your voice is so mellifluous. <laughs> I could so, just have one kiss. He like the oh. <laughs> I feel like we're gonna have to do a shot of like you at this age and her. <laughs> but that's how his voice is mellifluous. If I could, I could just, just get, get one kiss. kiss. So emotional death. Emotional death. Well, 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 Brendan, you showed a bit of emotional depth in this one. He even cried at one point. Oh, if he's if only he could cry in my arms. I know. Oh, really? I still, I don't think it was Oscar worthy. Well, that's best actor in a dramatic role. Then I would give it a, like I almost gave it a five. Let's do 5.5. 5. All right. 5.5. 5. Man count, zero mans. So don't have to worry about that. All right, comedic performance. This should be interesting. <laughs> Harsh, Whitney. Nothing was really funny. I mean, he wasn't doing anything funny. He knocked the, the cap off of the guy. Clearly, you didn't think it was that funny either. No, but I, I at least smiled. So we'll give him a half point, a point five. Point five. Best, Best actor, actor in a dramatic, dramatic role. Hmm. You're just copying all my <laughs> movements. Now you're just copying my Four. scores. Yeah. Oh my god. He was pretty even keel. He yeah, did he, was. he did have to show us some emotions, but he was just kind of like, I'm a student. Yeah, I'm just gonna work on my thesis. Yeah. Physical prowess and stunts. He's really gonna shine. I am so ready for this one. <gasps> what? <laughs> Let's see what he did. He jogged. Great job. Then he had he to go fell to a boy and he broke his leg. He tripped, but that is a stunt, Whitney. We did see a little bit of his behind, which was so quick that I was not you looking at it. And because you it. were you were doing a crossword puzzle. Listen, I Whitney. I, listen, listen. I'm gonna t I'm gonna be frank with you. I was very offended that you were not completely focused on this movie, that you were doing a crossword puzzle. I'm sorry. You missed his butt. I know. Now that I'm thinking more about it, I was impressed that for most of the movie he was on crutches. Yeah, I know. He was like hobbling around. And Whitney, he picks up and carries Joe Pesci through a That's field. True. He leans over and he just scoops him up and he carries him back yeah. like, like a Baby. Yeah. You're right. Yeah. How about a three? Hmm. That's more well. than meeting in the middle. All right. All right. All right. I'll go with a three. Is that okay? It has to be. Hair. Hair. I did enjoy his hair in this. I did too. It was like just good 90s hair, you know? Yeah. 5.5. 5. I'm cool with it. Yeah, I feel like his hair was maybe the best so far. It was just Hands down. charming. It was naturally poofy. It didn't look like there was a lot of hair gel. Although at one point I feel like it was gel, but just in the back. Mm -hmm. And it was kind of the hairstyle that he should have had in school ties. In school ties. Hidden talents. The man has got stunning biceps. And he's a good jogger. Better than I am. Is this in something that we didn't know though? I've never seen him jog. Have you? Yes. In what? All the football games. That's not jogging, that's running. Very different, Whitney. Um. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for breaking that down for me. You're welcome. I thought a hidden talent could be 
uh, how great he looks in a pajama set. Oh, that was another note. His 90s typing ability. Oh, yeah. On his computer. His keyboards were, the you buttons had, yeah, were hard to push. You had to like really push. Yeah, I remember that. Oh. <laughs> I feel like I've been scoring a little harsh on this movie, but I like it. When it gets to the point where something like jogging could be considered a hidden talent, maybe that's when we need to give it a zero. Okay, that was a good decision. I, I really struggled with it. I know. But the it's thing not... is, we have so many titles ahead of us. Yeah. We have so many. I think it's okay to be a little cutthroat. I think we kind of have to be. There are some movies back there where I'm like, I, mean, I don't necessarily agree with those scores anymore. Me too. I still think that 5.5 for emotional depth is very generous. Explain how we're rating that category. Okay. Like, I want to see him really fully inhabit the emotion. I want to see him, like, get in there. But and this one, it's the writing as well. No, it's it not just totally him. It totally is. I mean, yeah. it's his opportunity to to have emotional, like look at Link, yeah. you know, as Link, and as Sino meant, well, I had an emotional death before, yeah. but he was like really grappling with some big stuff, okay? So for best actor in a dramatic role, this, okay, that's like, is he getting an Oscar for is, this? Is, is it award worthy? Yeah. Should five be a nomination? I think like a seven. Ten should be the win. Yeah. Like basically, we're the Academy. We, we are the Academy. We are the Academy. I feel very clear about this now. Yeah. So let's let's do a three. Okay. Swoons. Zero. His roommate. She though. had like a low key crush on him, but she was never like, oh my god, that man. Temperature. I liked his character. Yes. Would I would I fall in love with him on the spot? Probably not. No. It would be a slow burn for me. Yeah, and, but it would definitely be like a burn. Like, I kind of like this guy. Yeah, it would be like... But also, I can handle myself. Yes. That came out wrong. But, like, I can <laughs> remain composed. So, 4.5? 4.5. <laughs> and notes. The phrase in a PJ set. I like matching pajama sets. I do too. Especially on men. Oh, yeah. It looks comfortable. Chic. Very sleepable. I know what it is. Monty for president. He's studying government, mm -hmm. all that stuff. Maybe he will be president. Maybe he will. Monty for president. Total up the score, please. All right, 20 and a half. So next time, we will be watching Airheads from 1994. We will see you next week. Keep it scholarly. <laughs>